ads have a history of being misrepresentative of the final endpoint the clicker ends up at. We covered the situation in our ThreatWire episode for the week of January 20th, 2025, linked below. Then Google ads were hiding and actively linking to phishing websites. New research from Malwarebytes Labs shows Google's result being abused to misrepresent information to vulnerable populations. Sounds vague, sounds bad, but let's break this down. Now, bad actors are taking out advertisements to legitimate websites, but they figured out that by embedding values into query params, they can force display fake information onto legitimate sites. Once the website loads, these query params are not sanitized before being displayed in the search bar of the website or wherever the query param results are being displayed. The bad actors use this bypassing to trick unaware users into calling a phone number that bad actors own. Then it's a matter of a normal scam phone call process, convincing the user to hand over sensitive information or money. A technically more correct name for this type of attack would be a search parameter injection attack because the scammer has crafted a malicious URL that embeds their own fake phone number into a genuine site's legitimate search functionality. While this is utilizing Google Ads to link users to bad URLs, I personally believe the onus to prepare and repair for these kinds of parameter injection attacks is on the targeted website's responsibility. Hopefully, we will see companies start to roll out protections and preparations for handling bad query injections if they're willing to include it in their user threat models.